In this video, we're going to solve this differential equation. So maybe a good first step uh, when solving this would be to use cross multiplication. So we'll start by doing that. So we have y plus x times dy plus x times dy equals, and then y minus x times dx. So y minus x times dx. And this is going to be a homogeneous uh, differential equation because all of the powers are the same. See, this is a 1 and this is a 1. So this piece here is called homogeneous of degree, degree 1. So is this one. This is a 1 and this is a 1. And so this is homogeneous of degree 1. Typically, when we have homogeneous equations, they're equal to 0. So let's go ahead and maybe start by um, subtracting uh, this piece over here. So we have y plus x dy minus y minus x dx equal to 0. So there's two choices uh, for substitutions that we can use when solving this problem. So the first choice is to let x equals vy. In this case, dx is equal to v dy plus y dv. And the other choice is to let y equal ux. In this case, dy is equal to u dx plus x du. So it doesn't really matter which one we use. However, there is a negative sign here, and there's a dx here. So I'm leaning towards this one. So let's use this one. So we'll carefully make the substitution now. So we have ux. So replace the y with ux plus x. And then dy is u dx plus x du. Good stuff. And then minus, ooh, kind of messy, uh, y is ux, and then minus x, and then dx. And all of that is equal to 0. This differential equation here should be separable. So let's very, very carefully multiply this out. So let's see. So we're going to take the ux and distribute it. So ux times u is u squared x dx. And then ux times x is ux squared du. And now we do the inside piece. So x u dx, so plus x u dx. And then the very last one would be x times x, so x squared du. Wow, it looks really messy. X squared, ooh, x squared du. Easy to mess up. Now here we have minus ux times dx. So minus ux dx. And then plus x dx. Plus x dx. And this is equal to 0. The plus becomes comes from the two minus signs. Okay, I guess the big question is, does anything cancel? Um, yeah, yeah, this x u dx cancels with this uh, x u dx, so that's good. And then we're left with this has a dx and this has a dx and an x. So I'm thinking um, we can factor out x dx from these two terms. That will leave us with u squared plus 1 x dx. That's from from this one and from this one. Pulling out the x dx leaves us with u squared plus 1. And then here, um, I guess we could do some math here as well. Let's maybe subtract this over to the other side first. So this is minus u x squared du minus x squared du. We could have combined them, but I figured let's move it over to the right-hand side first uh, before we do that. So this is going to be u squared plus 1 x dx equals, and I guess here we can pull out a negative x squared. So we'll have negative x squared, parentheses, u plus 1 du. Yep, looks okay. So, uh, yep, looks good. So we want all the x's on one side and all the u's on the other side. So I guess we can divide both sides uh, by negative x squared. So we'll have negative x over x squared dx. 
and at the same time we'll divide by u squared plus 1. That'll give us u plus 1 over u squared plus 1 du. So we divided by negative x squared, and we divided by u squared plus 1. So this is going to be, let me come over here to the left to allow ourselves more room. So we're going to integrate, so we have this. And then this one, you can break it up into two integrals. You can do u over u squared plus 1 du plus 1 over u squared plus 1 du. And the reason I did that is because for the first integral, we can make a substitution. And the second one is going to be uh, an arctan. So let's go ahead and make a substitution for the first one. I'll do it up here. We'll let w equal u squared plus 1. And then so dw will be 2u du. And so we don't have a 2 in the integral, so we divide by it. So we have 1 half dw equals u du. Okay. So this is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and integrate this one. Negative ln absolute value of x equals 1 half integral. So the u uh, du uh, becomes 1 half dw and we're left with a w on the bottom plus and uh, I'll leave this like this for a moment so u squared plus 1 squared that's a right you write, right you write 1 squared because there's a formula if you have the integral of 1 over a squared plus x squared dx this is equal to 1 over a arctangent of x over a plus c. So here our a is 1, okay, so this will be switch colors here, so negative ln absolute value of x equals 1 half, this is an ln again, absolute value of w, but w is u squared plus 1, so I'm going to skip a step here, plus, and this is 1 over 1, arctangent of u over 1, and then let's go ahead and put the c. We're almost done. Right? We are almost done. We are so close. Just recall that y was equal to ux. So that would mean that u is equal to y over x. So the very last thing to do is replace all of the u's with y over x. So the final answer will be negative ln absolute value of x equals one half natural log we don't need the absolute value. All of this is positive because it's being squared, so I'll just put a parenthesis. y over x squared plus 1 plus arctangent of u, but u is y over x. And then we have our plus c at the end, so that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.